this is Jazz with JD Wax, and today we are going to learn how to wrap this pendant. This is a custom order from a customer, and she brought me these stones. She actually brought me these three stones to wrap, but uh, I only wrapped the two because that's what we decided on. And, um,. It looks like it's a soda light, and I'm not sure what this other rock is. It looks like just a polished brownstone, uh, but it's wrapped in 24 gauge uh, sterling silver wire and 20 gauge sterling silver wire. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, so she did not like this one, so I'm just going to use it as something else on a different pendant. She didn't like how this one was overwhelming these other two. So I'm going to put them on their one pendant and I went ahead and got progression picks and she approved this one. So this is what I'm going to do. And right here I started doing, let's see if I can get any closer, I started weaving, I'm doing two, one, two, one, and the middle wire is going to be my base wire. So I'm going to just keep wrapping this, and I'm going to continue doing one around all three, and then two around the center. And I'm just going to continue with that until I have a good solid piece on that. And I'm going to use this wire to anchor uh, the other two, the two stones that I'm going to be using for the pendant. So I'm just going to continue doing that until I get like a good at least couple of inches all right and then I'll see you back here shortly okay so back to this pen down Well, I want to cover up this gap that I have in there. I really don't like that gap. attach this like this on the back so I'm gonna go in through the top hole on the back you know what this keeps falling out. I'm just gonna leave it out for now till I can get this secured in there And there's my husband stomping again. Okay. 
All right. So there is that. It is now attached on here. And then I can twist this however I need to in order to make it stick. I'm just trying to make this wire lay down. Because that is one of the last things you want is like a pokey piece in your jewelry. Hmm. So I think I'm going to take this and basically frame this bottom rock. Baby, baby. Just hmm. well, neither one of these is going to work. Oh my goodness, maybe if I make this loop bigger. Well, that doesn't work either. My goodness. What if I take them? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to take them and tuck them. You know what? I'm just going to cut them off. <sighs> I'm going to cut them off. And I am just going to roll them. All right. So let's see if we can get a close up of what I just did. Here we go. See, I, I attached it in the back. There we go. I attached it in the back up here. And then I took it into the front around down came back through the back and back up i made this little this little swirl right here and then made that swirl then made that swirl and then i tied it off right here
So now this brown rock is more secure. And that gap is kind of filled in like I wanted. I feel like I need something down here in the bottom though, in the very bottom to secure it. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little, like, twisty style again. And I'm going to make it come all the way down to the bottom. Do one more little twisty, and then the shorter wire I'm going to go ahead and attach to this bottom to kind of secure it to the thing, to the pendant. So I'm just going to push it through and twist it. So with this second one, I'm also going to push that through and twist it. I'm going to push this one all the way through the back. This brown rock is the one that's been giving me the most problems with this pendant. Taking these two and just making some swirls.
Alright, this one's too short, so I'm just going to unravel that. And straighten these both back out. Okay, and I'm just going to tie this off, crimp it down, there we go. So with this one, it's a little longer. I think I'm also going to put this one through here. I don't think I'm actually going to cut it. And then I'm going to put it through the same hole. Twist it back around and anchor it. There we go. So then I'm going to take this piece, this piece that's sticking out, I'm going to try and line it up as best as I can. One piece looks a little flatter than the other. And I'm just going to try and turn it so that it'll lay flat against the wire that I wove. This blue stone actually looks like it needs some support, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two wires and I'm going to bring them down like this and I'm going to put them through here, right above where I ended the where I started putting the um, the second weave on. Alright, so now it has to go through. <gasps> Fantastic! Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Bombastic. Now I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to actually tuck it behind that wire. Fantastic. Alright. This one has to go above it. Oh. No, not, don't do that. Bump. Okay. Pull that one through. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, these other two wires over here, just to kind of strengthen the back of that wire. I'm going to bring it over here, 
So it's going to make a crisscross in the back. Crisscross in the back. All right. So it's going to make a crisscross just like that. That way it holds the back together. All right. And then from here, I think I'm just going to do a couple swirlies. Just a couple swirlies to kind of use up the wire. All right. So there we are for that. So this is what it looks like so far. I think it's coming out pretty good. Stones are in there securely, not gonna come out. So now I just need to do the bail. And I have these two wires to do that with. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a figure eight weave. So first you gotta attach your wire. And make sure that all the all the points are down. Just like that. Now you're gonna squish those together, make it tight. Then you're going to scoot it all the way down to the base and you're going to start wrapping. So then you're going to come up around here, wrap it around once, and then you're going to make a figure eight, come around once, and then There we go. Now that we got that, I'm going to start crisscrossing these so that I can make it go back down the way I need it to. And you always got to keep a hold of your sides now because what was holding them back to begin with was your wires were completely like bent outwards so it kind of held everything together well now that they're bent inwards it's not going to hold anything and see if you don't keep it pushed down it starts to unravel and get all kinked and then i'm going to let it zigzag to the point There we go. And I'm going to do the figure eight weave a couple more times to just tie this off. And this time it's going to be beside each other. Let's snip that off. Round out that shirt bit. Don't want any pokey bits. And then there's that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to bend it. Just like that. And 
I'm going to take these two wires and I'm going to push it through the front. Now I am I'm just going to bring it around to the back and just tie it off. And there we go. The complete pendant. Awesome. I really like how this turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and take a progression pick, send it to her, see what she says about it, and hopefully she likes it. And then I'm also going to see if she wants me to wrap that as well. So I will talk to you here soon. Alright, so she did say that she absolutely adored this pendant. But because of the cost, she doesn't want me to wrap this other one. So that's fine with me. Um, so I guess I'm going to go and take it to her and that'll be it. This has been Jasmine with JD Wax, and I hope I see you soon. Have a fantastic day, y'all.